We'll see about that, Frankie replied. Monty and I have plans for you. He looked at Monty and smiled. You won't know what's happening to you, he continued. And then, when they find you, everyone will think you've committed suicide. Now, is it worth dying for? All you have to do is sabotage the favorite's bike. The bike that I bet on must win. I'll even give you 500 pounds for doing the job. And then we can all go home richer and happier. Bob shook his head. That's the way you do things, Frankie, he said, not me. Frankie's eyes looked mean. Okay, you asked for this, he said, putting his hand inside his jacket pocket and taking out a syringe. Grab his arm and hold him tightly, Frankie ordered Monty. Bob knew exactly what Frankie was going to do. He had to escape and quickly, but Monty was holding his arm tightly. Bob thought fast and kicked Monty hard on his leg. Monty dropped Bob's arm and rubbed his leg. This gave Bob the opportunity he had been waiting for. He made a fist with his hand, pulled his arm back, and punched Frankie hard on the chin. Frankie fell backwards, and the syringe flew out of his hand, landing in a corner of the garage. Bob ran towards the door. Grab him! Frankie shouted to Monty as Bob approached the door. Monty ran in front of Bob and stood with his back against the door. Frankie walked slowly towards Bob, who was now standing between him and Monty. Bob looked down and saw a heavy spanner lying near the door. He suddenly threw himself onto the floor, grabbed the spanner and stood up, waving it in front of him. The first person who comes near me gets this, he said, breathing heavily. Now get out of here, both of you. Okay. You've won. This time, Bob, said Frankie, smiling. Come on, Monty, he said. Let's get out of here.